I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and this is Facebook Paper. This is Facebook's answer to those in need of a more elegant and organized approach to Facebook, or at least that's the intention. Many complain about Facebook's dull, convoluted, and unreliable application, and with Paper, this is the answer to at least most of these problems. Paper is like a flipboard in Facebook Home had a baby, where you can scroll from left to right and where photos and stories take up the full screen in a more immersive experience. It's extremely snappy and substitutes buttons and taps with gestures that I've gotten used to quite easily. And you can also pen with photos using the phone sensors instead of your fingers. The app even talks to you to help you navigate if you find any problems, which is really cool. Now, the real story behind paper is not in its design, but really in its purpose. Facebook wants you to spend more time within their mobile application, and they're trying to merge every excuse for you to leave into the same app. As such, you can add different sections in the application that provide you with news feeds from sports, headlines, tech, etc. It also merges with pocket and read it later applications to help you organize what you read and in what order. As such, Facebook is one of these sections, and these other feeds are separate sections. So your experience is immersive no matter where you are, be it Facebook or within any other section again, but this is still paper, which is cool. Now, don't get confused. Again, this is still Facebook, so you can pretty much ditch the native Facebook application and get all your notifications and services here if this is the experience that you like the most. All that being said, the fact that this is still Facebook is actually one of its problems. You'd think that because there is a tech feed, then all the tech pages that you've liked will fall under that feed, but they don't. These are still part of your Facebook feed. Sadly, no, you can't create a spam section for all those Candy Crush alerts from your friends either. In that same fashion, you can't really select the sources of news that you get from different sections. So these can prove to be unuseful to you since these are actually curated and sometimes convenient to Facebook. Another one of its problems is that the text can be quite small for the taste of many, and probably one of its biggest issues is that you can only get this on the iPhone for now. Bottom line, Facebook paper is still a work in progress, but a very good start. I really praise the company for nailing a very good product. This is very elegant. It is extremely snappy, and again, it's quite an enjoyable experience if you like an elegant magazine UI. If you want a better Facebook client that also brings you your news in one place, even though from curated sources, you can't really go wrong here. It was about time that Facebook became more than what it currently is, and let's just hope that version 2 is more flexible on the sources. That's it for a quick walkthrough of Facebook paper. Do you like the application? Have you given it a try? Leave us a comment down below and tell us your experience so far. I'm actually liking it. You can also follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.